To prove I could handle owning my dream pet, I first had to look after a series of other creatures, each one bigger than the last. <laughs> OK. Well, so let's, let's start with the dream pet, shall we, that, that we're working towards. OK, what's the dream pet? The dream pet was a lizard. Whoa, a lizard. I would have picked a bigger dream pet than that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you'd have to, you, wouldn't you? <laughs> and what was the sequence of animals you had to work up to? So uh, I started off with woodlice. Woodlice? Yeah. Right. Woodlice. Okay. Yeah. We, they, make a, they make a lovely pet. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what happened was, my mum said, you can't have a lizard. Um, you need How to prove big was your lizard that you uh, were hoping for? One that could like fit on my forearm like that. That, that, that big? Yeah. An iguana? A big yeah, lizard? Yeah, something like that, yeah. You're not thinking of a crocodile? No. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents were like, if you want to get a lizard, you've always got to prove that you can look after animals. And how did you prove with the woodlouse that you were, you were a responsible <laughs> I had owner? to just look after them for a week and keep them alive for a week. <gasps> how did you do that with the woodlouse? Just let them get on with it. Turns out they're pretty good. They can look after yeah. themselves. <laughs> <laughs> So you took a woodlouse from under a stone. And a and, log. And under a log, great. I'm sure it wasn't a vlog. Log. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? Writing that joke All down. Right, yeah. <laughs> so you took the woodlouse, and what yeah. did you put it in? In a little uh, plastic container. With food or with...? Bits of the log, bit of grass. That kind of thing. <laughs> Sounds like lousy accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't write that one down, Rob. <laughs> At the end of the week, it was still alive. Yep. And your parents said, great, it's time to upgrade to, uh... Stick insects. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where did you Quite find that? Oh. So my cousin had some, and yeah. I was really jealous of them, and I really liked them, so he gave me some of his. Uh, and then I looked after them for a bit. How did you look after them? Uh, I had, like, a, an empty, like, lollipop jar. What had happened to the woodlouse, though? I forgot, but they, they were actually quite boring pets. They don't do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very affectionate, are they? <laughs> <laughs> woodlouse. And, and, but it wouldn't be better if they were. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> don't go into the garden, all the woodlice are <laughs> bounding up to you, <laughs> trying to lick your face. <laughs> still a lot of food. And how long did you have to keep the stick insects alive? Uh, just for another week. And another then at week. the end of that week... This is where it all changed. Oh, so okay. then it was my first trip to the properly to the pet shop. Right. The horse. <laughs> <laughs> I then got uh, two giant African land snails uh, right. to look after, and that was a whole different ball game. You've got to keep them uh, moist at all times. So you've got to keep sure, make sure it's like warm and wet because they like that. That's when they're right. most active. So what did you keep them in? Uh, a, a big container, like a big uh, like what you put like stuff in and put it under your bed. What's it a called? Drawer. That's it, like one of those plastic <laughs> drawers. <laughs> Lovely hot, yeah. wet drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Did you give these land snails names? I did, yeah. Stanley and Shelley. Uh, named oh, Shelley. after Shelley. I like that. Shelley, because. Shelley. The, the... Yeah. Write that one down, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You may be good at dancing, <laughs> but I'll decide which jokes <laughs> make my book. Um, OK. <laughs> what did you... What was the next step after the snail? The next step would have been the lizard. Yes. But it's the fact that I had these snails for so long, it, I just got bored of wanting any pet. It made me realise that maybe right. I'm not ready for Very any good pet. parenting, yeah. I, I would say, isn't it? Literally <laughs> waiting for the snails to die yeah. and put you off the lizard. All right, what do you think? It sounds believable. Sounds believable. Sound believable. I think it's true. You think it's true. So, Joe, were you telling the truth then or were you telling a lie? It is, in fact, true. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yes, it's true.